Are you looking at adding a small canine into your household, but you're not sure which small breed to pick from? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at two of the most popular small breeds, the Pomeranian and the Boston Terrier. Welcome back to the Fenrir Pomeranian Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at Fenrir, canineleaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. The Pomeranian has its roots in the region between Poland and Germany called Pomerania, hence the name Pomeranian. It might surprise you to know that the little Pomeranian we know today has ancestors that were larger spitz type dogs that were found in Russia, Siberia and other Arctic regions. The exact origin of the various breeds that played a part in creating the modern Pomeranian is unknown. By the time Queen Victoria came to the throne in England, Pomeranians had made their way to the UK. At this time, they were popular all over Europe. Queen Victoria had many different breeds of dog, but she particularly loved her Pomeranians, and she actively promoted them through the country. In 1891, the first Pomeranian club was established. They grew in popularity and were a particular favourite with socialites of the era. Apparently, two Pomeranians were among the only three dogs to survive the sinking of the Titanic in 1912. Having both been taken to safety by their lady owners, Pomeranians have remained one of the most popular choices of companion dog due to their small stature, their cute expression and their loyal affectionate nature. The Boston Terrier has long been thought of as the national dog of the United States, which is where they originated from. They were first recognised by the American Kennel Club as a non-sporting breed in 1893. The first Boston Terrier was created in 1875 when Robert Cooper from Boston bought a dog called Judge. Judge was a cross between an English Bulldog and a white English Terrier. He was mated with a small, short-tailed, stocky white female named Burnett's Jip, and with that the Boston Terrier was born. Boston Terriers have been known as many different names over the years, including Boston Bulls. They were also known as the American Bull Terriers, but Bull Terriers and Bulldog owners objected to using this name, so they got their official name in 1891. Pomeranians are small dogs that boast a thick plush coat. In fact, they have a double coat. They have a long, flat outer coat that's harsh to touch in contrast to the soft and fluffy undercoat. Their coat has many different colours. In fact, the Pomeranian has up to 20 different colour combinations. They have a finely chiselled muzzle, which makes their head look quite large in comparison. Their nose colour usually matches the colour of their coat, and their eye rims are usually black. They're known for their tails, which are set high and covered in long hair, and turns up over their backs. The Pomeranian has a short back and compact body that gives them a barrel look. They're tiny in size and stature, growing to a height of 12 inches or 30 centimetres at the withers, and weigh up to 7 pounds or 3 kilograms. Known as the American Gentleman, the Boston Terrier is an extremely recognisable canine thanks to its tuxedo-style coat, compact body and short tail. They are a sturdy and muscular dog with a smooth, straight coat, distinct large ears which sit erect on their heads, and they also have a flat-nosed face with no wrinkles. The American Kennel Club recognised three colours, seal, a black colour with a red tinge to it, black and brindle with equal marks of white. The newly revised colours, which are not recognised as true Boston Terrier colours, also include solid black, tan and black, mouse, which is blue, and liver, which is red. A Boston Terrier usually has white markings across its chest, between its eyes and on its muzzle. They don't require much grooming. In fact, a weekly brush with a grooming mitt or bristle brush will be enough to keep their coats looking sleek and clean, and they'll need the occasional bath to stay mud-free. Male Boston Terriers usually weigh up to 25 pounds or 11 kilograms and females up to 20 pounds or 9 kilograms. They usually stand up to 17 inches or 42 centimetres tall at the shoulder. No matter how much a Boston weighs, they should never look skinny. They should always look sturdy and muscular. Pomeranians may be small in stature, but they make up for it in bags of personality and they're massive extroverts. Pomeranians have no idea how small they really are. Their feisty nature means that they will happily attempt to confront much larger dogs than themselves. Training needs to be firm and consistent with positive reinforcement, plenty of praise and treats. The Pomeranian's intelligent nature makes them easy to train, but they will challenge you. By being firm yet fair, they will soon understand their place in the pecking order. They're incredibly intelligent and know exactly how to get their own way. 
Pomeranians are quick to learn new things, both good and bad. If you allow them to get away with everything, they will show their more stubborn and dominant side of their personality and be more difficult to handle. They typically form a strong bond with only one person in the household, which doesn't always make them a great choice of families. However, they could be ideal for a single person or couples without children. They also make a great choice for those who don't have the time or ability to dedicate lots of exercises. They only require about 30 minutes a day to keep them happy. The Boston Terrier is an intelligent, affectionate and lively breed. They were once bred to be savage pit fighting dogs, but that can't be any further from the truth now. They are affectionate and loyal, but they can be a little bit stubborn. This means that manners and obedience training is essential with this breed. And consistency and persistence are a must when training them. The best way to train a Boston Terrier is with motivational training as they're sensitive to your tone of voice. Punishing them too harshly may cause them to quickly lose interest in you and training. It may be a good idea to consider crate training with Boston Terriers whilst house training as it may take them a while to grasp if not done properly. Boston Terriers need around 30 minutes of exercise a day and they also need plenty of play sessions and they'll love nothing more than a long game of fetch. Pomeranians are both outgoing and alert. Although they typically cling to one person in the family they do still form strong bonds with others and have a strong desire to be protective they don't recommend oh they are not recommended for families with smaller children as they can become a little bit snappy if they've not been trained in obedience and manners or when children don't treat them right or handle them correctly if you do have young children it's important to make sure that interactions with your pomeranian and the children is supervised Pomeranians will accept being around other dogs if they've been well socialised to them from a young age. They will still be protective of their family around unknown dogs and animals. Therefore, to prevent any aggressive behaviour, you should ensure you properly socialise them to a range of different animals that are a wide range of ages. Pomeranians that have grown up alongside other dogs and animals shouldn't have any issues. You should still never leave any dogs unsupervised together as accidents can happen. Boston Terriers are a well-balanced breed, however they can become a little bit territorial if other dogs invade their territory. This is usually more seen commonly in males than females and can be avoided by plenty of socialisation and training in manners and obedience from puppyhood. Boston Terriers have a very friendly and outgoing temperament when properly raised which makes them excellent playmates for children. They're also good with other pets like dogs, cats and other animals when they are socialised from a young age, especially if they've grown up alongside them. The Pomeranian and the Boston Terrier are two interesting choices of family companion. The Pomeranian may be a smaller breed, but it makes up for it with a feisty personality. This feisty personality doesn't always mesh well with smaller children, whereas the Boston Terrier has a more gentle and relaxed nature and is brilliant with youngsters. Either addition will make a great canine companion. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Pomeranian videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Pomeranian Show.